Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Mirsky Draws. Uh, today what we're going to go over is actually one of my favorite characters of all time, uh, favorite comic book characters of all time, which is the Incredible Hulk. We're going to do a quick uh, face exploration uh, of the Hulk uh, right now. I don't know why I'm in my palette at the moment, but uh, I do have a couple of reference photos that I have here on my iPad. I am using an iPad Pro, 12.9-inch, uh, along with the Apple Pencil. I'm in my Procreate app, as you can see, but what I'm going to do, in case you're using old-fashioned pen and paper, I'm actually just going to, we're just going to do, be doing a sketch uh, with a with the pencil tool right now, uh, so that whatever I'm going to go over right now, you can actually do with a normal um, pen and pen, uh, paper and pencil. Uh, so what I'm going to actually just insert at the moment is the reference photo. Now, I've been looking at the Hulk for a very long time. Um, uh, since I was little, so I know basically how the Hulk uh, is going to get drawn uh, in my head. But uh, just to give you an idea, there are a couple of different Hulks uh, in Marvel Comics, uh, depending on which era you were reading. Uh, obviously, the one that you see there on the left is Bruce Banner. We're not going to be doing him today. Um, we On the right of that picture is the Hulk from the 1960s, basically how he was drawn in the 1960s all the way through the 1970s. Uh, on the bottom left is the Professor Hulk, or the Merged Hulk, uh, which was a staple of the 90s. And on the bottom right is basically my one of my favorite uh, designs of the Hulk, which is the uh, the Joe Fixit Gray Hulk, uh, which was um, prevalent throughout the mid-late uh, 1980s. It's actually the one that I uh, grew up on. It was the one that uh, I... It was the comic, the first uh, type of uh, Hulk comic that I picked up first was the the Grey Hulk. It was actually Todd McFarlane's run on the uh, the Grey Hulk, and it's actually one of my favorites. So we're gonna be exploring uh, that right now. Okay, let's get started. So I'm actually just gonna get rid of this because I don't need that. I know what I'm gonna be drawing. I'm gonna start a new layer on there. Uh, by the way, that first layer does say follow Mersky on IG. So if you have Instagram, uh, my handle is at Mersky. Uh, please don't hesitate to follow. Um, also, uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel that this video is now on. All right, you guys ready? Uh, in the color palette, I'm actually just going to switch uh, to gray, which is appropriate since we're doing Gray Hulk. I don't want that email right now. Uh, we're going to go into the, in the brush tool and then go into sketching. I'm pretty much going to do an HB pencil. I'm going to check if I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Up that a little bit. Cool. All right, so I like to plan out my, we're basically just going to be doing a portrait uh, today, so I'm actually just going to plan out my portrait sketch real quick, first by going circles. Interestingly enough, I learned to draw this way at a very young age, and uh, it's appropriate that the, one of the first characters that I'm going to be doing on this channel is the Hulk, because... I've been drawing the Hulk for a while, and I, again, he's basically one of my favorite, if not the favorite, uh, comic book character of mine. Um, so I'm just going to lay this out. Put my guidelines here. Great Hulk's got a like that, and he always has a pretty exaggerated mouth over there, and the jowls. Bottom right there. Because he's the Hulk, neck. So basically, just doing a loose sketch, just like that, right there. Okay. And if you are following with a pen and pencil, a pen and pencil, it's a paper and pencil. That's basically what we should start off with. Right, just a light, light sketch, as light as I can get it. All right, cool. So what now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and get a little tighter with the pencil. I'm going to draw that crown line. He's always got an exaggerated brow. So I'm actually just going to go in and exaggerate that brow a bit more. I'm going to 
go in there, put in that little hook and nose that he usually has. And the Grey Hulk, for those of you that don't know your comic history, was smarter than the Green Hulk, or Savage Hulk, but he wasn't as strong as him, oddly enough. So, the Grey Hulk was another personality of Bruce Banner's um, that was formed in the, the 80s. Actually, if we want to go all the way back, the Hulk in the first issue of the Hulk, of um, uh, oh, what was it? I forget what it was, but the first in the first appearance of the Hulk, the Hulk was actually printed, or was supposed to be gray, but because of uh, printing problems, they switched him to green. So, and then in in the eighties, Todd McFarlane brought in his version of the Hulk, which he brought back the Gray Hulk on the Joe Fix It run. And gave us like a more Frankenstein's monster look type of Hulk, which I I love that that eighties aesthetic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase this because now that I say that, I want to do a little bit more of an exaggerated brow. While I'm at it, I'm gonna put in little wrinkle lines here. First makings of the eyebrow. Always great drawing comic book characters, especially with Hulk. I always love doing these types of sketches because it really just loosens up my creativity and brings me back to a time when, you know, this is pretty much all I did was read comic books and draw. And it's nice to kind of get back to doing stuff like that. Okay. Start with this little. Great Hulk always had this little sly sinister smile about him so I can work that in here. I don't like that too much on the erase that. Artists are not perfect as you can see. We change our minds all the time. And if something's not coming out the way we like it, we need to change it. I don't want you guys to kinda get an idea of how stuff is done. I don't want you to exactly copy what I'm doing, but just kind of get an idea of how it's going through the mind sometimes of an artist while he's working. Just get that in there real quick. Cool. I haven't drawn the eyes yet because I don't exactly know how I want this brow to finish, but Fix this one and like I said, if you're using a normal pencil and paper, you can erase as much as you can. Basically, the same as frequent as I'm doing. Also, another interesting thing about the Gray Hulk, they had sort of a different type of hair than the, the Green Hulk at that time. So it was basically like an undercut. And this is basically how that's going to look over there. Now, on McFarlane's run of the Hulk, Hulk always had these little beady eyes. I think I'll stay true to that for the moment. I 
What I'm going to do is actually rotate this a little bit because I think I actually want to exaggerate him a little bit more. So when you're doing the Hulk and you have that big brow on the top, and if you kind of shade in the eyes just like so, kind of gives in that more of a sunken in type feeling. Get some shades in there. The way I have it sketched now, I can't really tell what's a lip and what's his teeth. I'm going to clear that up a little bit. Get in there and do a lip. Yeah, messed that up. Hold on. All right, let's define some of those teeth real quick. Sometimes when you're drawing, you immediately get transported into a time when you first drew something. It kind of always never fails, especially when I'm drawing the Hulk. Yeah, my style might not be for everyone, but I'm always changing up my style all the time. You know, right now I can think of a couple different ways that I could have drew this, but this is what came out. And you have to appreciate those moments because it's it shows that you're evolving all the time as an artist, kind of not. Artists in general are never happy with the stuff that they've they've created, especially me, especially like after this is done, I'm probably like, ah, there's this way I could have done it, could have done it this way, but you have to live in the moment and kind of just own, take responsibility for what you've put down on that paper, or in this case on the iPad, and for the most part, I'm happy with this. So we're finishing up. This is something I'm going to actually ink later, but for now, pretty happy with this. Generally, too, what I'd be doing right now is thinking how I would be fixing this in digital. But again, right now, we are going to live in that moment. And this is something, the, one of the first videos I wanted to do just for fun for you guys, just to give you an idea of what you can expect uh, from these videos.
not a full-blown tutorial, but basically you get to see and hear what I'm thinking when I'm drawing. Also, this is therapeutic for me, in case you didn't realize that, you know, I like doing this stuff, and I like kind of conveying and going through what I'm thinking as I'm drawing. So, I think I'm going to call this sketch done for now again. Could have done this maybe a little bit better. But again, I'm going to own it. Let's see, I'm not happy with it because I am happy with it. But There we go. I'll leave it up to you if you want me to ink it or end color it. But for right now, I'm pretty happy with this. I'll stick my signature right there. I'm going to push this slightly further. A little bit shading here and there. But uh, the point of these videos and the point of this part of the channel is basically to inspire you guys to get out there and just kind of put the pen or pencil onto the paper, or in this case, take out that iPad, download an app, a drawing app, and kind of just get going. I mean, I'm going to charge this pencil soon. Just get going. Get out there. Draw. Get creative. You might discover a talent that you didn't know that you had before, or if you, you know, if there's something you do, which is meant for inspiration, improvement, I think this drawing is done. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, follow Mersky on IG, at Mersky, and uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Take care, guys.